going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh there's some complaints on brake squeak on my wife's suv so what we're gonna do today is give you a few quick pointers on what to look for and how to resolve some brake squeak now obviously squeak squeal whatever uh however you want to call it you still have to inspect your brake calipers and everything that is connected with your brake system so first thing you want to look for are pins i almost guarantee you these are probably dry i have not inspected them in a while so <laughs> what i'm going to do is actually going to take these out and see how dry they are lube them up a little bit the hardware you kind of want to clean the surface over here put a little bit of grease or some sort of uh, anti-seize right here between the hardware and the actual bracket itself uh, I did already kind of lube up the backing of the uh, of the brake pads just to eliminate any kind of noise, but we're going to give it a good little quick di uh, disc brake quiet spray uh, just to be on the safe side after all is said and done. So let's get to it. One thing I do want to point out while I'm here, I went to go crank this loose. It's kind of seized up in here, and uh, this just all came out. So it's my opinion that things are a little bit dried up here, so we're going to, as soon as we get everything off, We'll show you how dry it is. So, mostly everything's out. Nothing too noticeable with the pads itself. Uh, we might take like an 80 grit sandpaper just to give it like a nice little fresh, you know, surface a little bit because sometimes they could be contaminated and that could result in brake squeak. Hardware looks pretty solid still, so we're going to reattach that and then we're going to use some anti seize lubricant on the contact surfaces where the hardware goes. Now, granted, most um, now most people will recommend the copper based, uh, anti-seize lubricant and which I wholeheartedly agree. This is just something that I have available. Um, so not all the time will you have copper based available, just use whatever you have. Now taking the pins out, if this can focus here, uh, I mean, it still has some lubrication to it, but we're going to we're definitely going to add some more uh, brake lubricant because this is, this is a little bit too dry for me. And here's the bottom pin. Now, please be careful because sometimes some cars, this is GMC Acadia, uh, this one is specifically for the bottom pin, and there's another one for the top pin. So please be careful. Sometimes there is specific pins for certain top or bottom uh, positions. So make sure you know where you removed it from. I have my anti-seize applied to the contact points where the hardware is going to be. You don't really need all that much, just a little bit to get you by. Um, this will last probably a few changes, but always routinely check it after. I don't know if you can tell, but I just hit it with about an uh, 80 grit sandpaper. Just very lightly sanded it. Uh, if you can tell which one it is that I sanded, if you guess left, you are right. That is the difference. See how shiny it is on the right side? Maybe it might be better <laughs> to sand both of these in all around, maybe. But, uh, yeah, this just makes sure that there's no contaminated surface. So that way uh, we can guarantee, just take that little extra measure to make sure that we're not getting our squeak from anywhere else. I'm going to use here's Ultra Brake Parts Lubricant from Permatex, another Permatex product. I'm kind of probably another number one customer because this is the cheapest at AutoZone. So uh, what I'm going to do is use this uh, lubricant on the pins and reinsert them and then kind of jiggle them or you know do the old brown chicken brown cow in there and then pull it back out and see how lubricated we are and how easy it is to come out and back in so what we're looking for is just some easement but not we don't want to overfill it with lubricant right we don't want to jam it in there where it's like spewing out the size that's that's ridiculous so just put an ample amount in there be a little liberal with it but at the same time don't overdo it so yeah. see right there when it's kind of difficult to pull out like that like you gotta put some muscle into it it's probably not enough so what you're looking for is maybe where you could just move it back and forth much like <laughs> anyway yeah so about right there is where you want it so rule of thumb motion of the ocean when you got everything back together go wash your hands Go out for a little test drive around the block a few times. For a test drive! I'm going out for a test drive right now around the block with my wife's SUV, which I normally actually use for side jobs and things of that nature. But I'm just driving around the block to get a feel for things, right? Uh, just driving on residential streets. Make sure that it could stop before, uh, you know, 
Maybe you might have done something wrong. I'm not accusing you of anything, but you know, we all make mistakes and sometimes that could lead to not being able to stop. So please tread carefully, drive the speed limit and uh, drive around the residential neighborhoods first. Uh, just, you know, cause you have frequent stop signs and et cetera, et cetera. And uh, yeah, and then until you're comfortable, then go out on the highway and give it a true test, right? Um, but for the most part, I think, I think we're okay. It's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet with the exception of like maybe my ladder making noise back here. But I mean, that's what you have to listen for, right? Every time you stop, you got to listen for that. Any kind of squeak, even while you're rolling too. Um, I found it the biggest complaint about this vehicle was the fact that when I go to a stop, um, it would be fine at first, uh, at first startup. And basically what would happen is after a while, after about 20 minutes of driving, uh, what would happen is it would just start squeaking a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And that's why I thought maybe the pins were dry, right? If the pins are dry, you lube those up, we shouldn't have that issue anymore. But I took those extra steps just to make sure and do my own due diligence and just do a little bit extra just to make sure that none of those other issues were the problem. Um, and these are big, uh, you know, uh, 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 not big, uh, but a multitude of factors can come into play when your brakes are squeaking. And I just wanted to eliminate all of those. So, so far, so good. I'm actually going to stop over to the uh, tobacco store here and then uh, run for a few beers and then see how it goes. Um, but in the meantime, I have a few items coming in from TAC form. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys might not realize this, but I have like 66,000 followers on TikTok and I'm trying to blow up this YouTube just the same way. So if you guys can, please subscribe if this helped you. Um, and then follow me on TikTok. We do a lot of jokes over there, but over here we're doing a little bit more of the mature content, right? We're actually getting down and serious. We're not doing so much joking around. We actually want to help each other here. Uh, so if this helped you, please subscribe, do whatever you can um, to help me out. I just reached 1,000 subscribers. Tacform is sending me some stuff for uh, phone holders, camera holders, things like that. So I'm going to do an unboxing for them on my YouTube channel, but also I'm going to be doing some things like TikTok videos, comparison shots from Anchor and other brands uh, to the Tacform. So stay tuned for that because that's really good equipment that's coming in here. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm really stoked. So <laughs> stick around. See you guys on the next one.